mountain coming up right now. Pretty big. Hey, Richard. Hey. go on a walk go and see our first bear. bear. How did we get from a maze to a tombola? I can't wait! <laughs> What's he make of this uh, skull, Simon? Sustains me. How would you describe what you're drinking right now? It's kind of like fun time. Ooh, green. So, out of ten, what would you give it? Uh, Hang on. Oh, Ooh, good. Have you got English breakfast tea, Simon? Are you, are you? The opening sequence. The same creatures are much parts of physical features as the time is spent. We become a part of double bumper. Do you really ever see ourselves? Ten years from now we should show. Take the message from my hand.
And the crow carries on picking up bits of crap off the ground. Myself more than the audience about what the story is about. We actually decided it's got a different meaning altogether. We had a long time. debate last night about the lyrics. <laughs> it relates to the, the kind of metaphor. Well, it is a metaphor of the fact that a shark, even when it sleeps, it has to it has to continue swimming. I mean, not all sharks, but the majority of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets rambling. So he essentially wants to. Like <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a round table discussion on it. <laughs> if you want to come up afterwards and discuss the meaning of what the metaphor of swimming and sleeping like a shark is, then we'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> As usual. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> Like a shark does, I'd fall to the bottom and I'd hide till the end of time. In that sweet, cool darkness, asleep and constantly floating away. And I'd hide till the end of 